Hi, my name is Paul Basoka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. Today we're going to look at test 3, section 3, number 8, which reads, the line y equals kx plus 4, where k is a constant, is graphed in the xy plane. If the line contains the point cd, where c doesn't equal 0 and d doesn't equal 0, what is the slope in terms of c and d? Now, if in terms of screws you up, then just completely ignore it. If it's asking you for the slope um, and you're doing it algebraically, all you got to do is get the slope alone. Now, the first way I show you is the way you want to do it, and the second way I show you is going to be picking numbers, which is a process that you should know that you could use, but um, it's really you want to apply it to a different problem, or if you just like don't see how you could get this problem correct. So usually you get y equals m x plus b. That's what you're used to in math class. But here, this is a little bit different. It's y equals kx plus 4. Now, not only do they use a k instead of the m, so you can see that your slope corresponds with k. Your slope here is k. That's what you got to get along. But they also use cd instead of xy. So what you could say is d equals k c plus 4. Remember, coordinates are always x comma y, and all I did in that step is substitute in. So when it asks you for the slope, all you have to do, like we said, is get the slope alone, get the k alone. What do you have to do to both sides first? You have to subtract 4, minus 4, minus 4, and you wind up with d minus 4 equals kc. And we said we're getting the k alone, divide c, divide c, cancel, k equals d minus 4 over c. You get c answer choice a is your correct answer there. Now, for method 2, which again is not the best way to do this problem, but it is a way, it's a process that you should know, and it's a way you could get problems correct, which is picking numbers. Whenever you see variables in the answer choices, you could pick numbers, in which case it makes most sense. Never pick a number for the variable that's alone. Always pick a number for the others. You want to pick simple numbers as well. Let's say k equals 2. And let's say x, remember x equals c, which equals, let's say it's 3. In that case, we say y equals 2 times 3 plus 4. y equals 6 plus 4. So y equals 10. And remember, your y is also your d. So here you have your numbers. That's the important thing. Since it's asking for what is the slope, that's the question. Well, your slope, like we said before, is k, and k equals 2. So what we're going to do is, when we go to our answer choices, in place of c, we're going to put 3. In place of d, we're going to put 10. And we're going to see what gives us 2. And in answer choice A, um, D is 10, so it's 10 minus 4. This is answer choice A. 10 minus 4 over C, and our C is 3. And you can see that gives us 6 over 3, which again is 2. Now, before you pick your answer, you might make sure that one of the other answer choices is not correct. In answer choice B, remember C is 3. So 3 minus 4 is negative 1. That's going to give you a negative value. That's not going to work. Um, answer choice C, you get 4 minus 1. You're going to get 1 over something, 1 over 3. That's not going to work. Actually, that's uh, 10. D is 10, so you'd wind up with negative 6 on top. So again, a negative doesn't work. And then in answer choice D, you have 4 minus 3. That's going to be 1 over something. You know that that's not going to work. So once again, your answer is A. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like, share it with someone who has trouble with linear equations or all this crazy substitution stuff that's going on here. If there's any uh, question that you have on a past PSAT or SAT or ACT, anything official, leave it in the comments or you could tag someone in the comments who could benefit from this question. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day, everybody.